And we're gonna find out how much are they gonna give me for my Supreme stuff in 2023. Look at all the stuff that I'm gonna bring to this store. This I don't mind to let go for 70. Yo guys, what is good? It is Ari Petru. Welcome back to the freaking channel, boys. I hope you had a very good week. In today's video, we are gonna head into Soho. And in particular, I wanna head to this store called Trading Desk because it's kind of the only store that we have in London where you can like buy and sell clothes. There are some other sneaker stores where you can buy and sell sneakers, but pretty much none of those stores will take used clothes. They sell a bunch of used sneakers, but they also sell a whole load of clothes like Supreme, Bape, Stussy, all that type of stuff you guys know i have so much like supreme from back in the day that i really don't wear anymore so we're gonna take it to this store and we're gonna find out how much are they gonna give me for my supreme stuff in 2023 now i know these prices But anyway, we're just gonna head there, see what happens, see what prices that they offer us. And I'm basically gonna use the money to like, look, if you look up here, I have all of these shelves behind me in my room, full of Supreme accessories. But I just kind of want to make these shelves a bit more minimalistic, a bit more cool, a bit more fresh. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can get some money to kind of like re-jazz my room a little bit. And I also want to see if they'd actually take this Supreme Mortal Kombat machine. I've already ordered a sofa for this space, so I either need to sell it or it's just gonna sit in storage. So Natalie just bought this lick mat. I've never heard of such a thing. But apparently dogs love to like lick these little surfaces. He mutt butter. It does smell exactly like mm -hmm. it. I feel like I could eat that myself. Go on. Go on. No. <laughs> Go on. No, no, no. Right, that's enough. That's, this is a lot of peanut butter if he eats this all. What is it, mister? Wait. Step back. Da, 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 da. I think it's safe to say he likes it. So when we go out today right now to Central, hopefully he can release his boredom with this lick mat. Guys, look at all the stuff that I'm gonna bring to this store. We've got cores, we've got Medicom toys, we've got accessories. Look at these, these are so hard. I remember when I bought these back in the day, I thought they were the sickest thing. You're really helping me sell me clothes. Anyway, we need to put a fit together. It's been so cold and rainy. It's time for the puffers to come out. All right, so I ended up binning off the big jacket and went for this shacket. These flared pants with the Birkenstocks. So let's head into London, go and check out Soho and have a freaking good day. Let's get it. I literally found the biggest bag I could possibly find. So right off the rip, the owner told me there was a whole load of stuff that he wouldn't be able to take, which was kind of disappointing, but also fair enough, as he felt like he just wouldn't be able to sell it in his store. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 2020. What I really want to take on is yeah. this is all like not that, because we've just got so much stuff in there. Yeah, okay. This I don't mind to let go for 70. 80 on that, to be honest, it's 70 spread you Dude, 200. Fair, 80 on that, I'd keep it. Because yeah. yeah. we've got one in there, so it's all. What have you got enlisted at? I have That's serious. It but is, that's but also it's so, like, the condition. It's nearly 20 years old, right? No, I know, I know. It's just, it just depends on what we can sell. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to be buying anything else. So I'm gonna pause it right here for a second because something crazy happened whilst I was actually in the store. So at this point, we had just gone through the t-shirts that I had brought in and he had only offered me a half decent price on one of them. All the others, I didn't really wanna sell at the price he offered. And he explained to me that they were just too high risk for him to take on at the moment, which is totally fair enough. But then this happened. Uh, you what, you want to go with me? Yeah, sorry. You lowball, you lowball on Instagram. Huh? You wish I lowball on Instagram. Did we? Yeah. yeah. Our, our offers are our offers, so. There's, there's the other guy getting a good deal on, so. So yeah, this random customer literally came in accusing them of lowballing. You could see that he was kind of a bit shocked, but to be honest, he actually handled it quite well and we just moved on, but it was quite awkward being there and also quite funny. Have a good weekend. Yeah, I'm rid of the brown. Does it really fit me nicely? 100 quid at least. 
Uh, what about this to your left? It's quite sick to be honest. Like it's cool, but like we've only got a couple North Face puffers, like just like normal ones, and we can't kind of struggle to sell them. It's yeah. quite hard. Like it looks good I on. I wore it quite a bit last year. Any chance shifting these potentially? Beanies right now. How much? Fifteen each. Nah. I'll tell you no. You can buy them still online on the store for like. Uh, someone came in trying to sell. Uh, that's, that's 35 retail. If you can get them online. Yeah, it's, they're clear. difficult to get hold of. Oh, cool. We'll just talk about this stuff then. I didn't give you a price on this actually. Yeah, no, go on. So, anyway, we come to conclusion on some bits like I knew I wasn't gonna be able to sell everything a lot of it's like just difficult to sell these days so I get it you get rid of these two 40 quid on this absolute steal and then this TNF 250 quid to be fair I have tried shot it myself for like 3 350 and still got the tag on it but I'm sure you'll sell that in here now man nice one bro appreciate easy. you have a good nice weekend. one G nice. take it easy man all right, so I didn't sell as much as I kind of wanted to sell, but then I also kind of knew what to expect as well. Like those stores, they may have like loads of stuff and loads of bits, but they're not that busy like they used to be back in the day. So you can't really blame them. Like they can't take risks on certain pieces, even if they think they're sick. Stores like round two in America, like literally went out of business. The whole reselling Supreme and sneakers and clothing, like it is really difficult to kind of uphold a shop these days. So I totally get it. So we can't complain, let's face it. And we move on. So I think we're actually gonna pull up Leon door and actually grab a little coffee. I've never actually had a coffee from here before. I've come in, checked out the clothes. It's an absolutely sick store. Nice. It's actually really, really good coffee. And the honey, the honey's a game changer. She asked me, do I want sugar or honey? And I was like, give me honey, go on. Buying it. I can't taste my honey. Maybe mine's like kind of at the bottom a little bit, but it's really, really good. Natalie's looks arm real. Oi, that looks so good. Anyway, we're just gonna chill here for a sec after our uh, tough negotiation. <laughs> And uh, I might take a little fit pic round here, grab some food or something. Get like 400 in like two days. So like, but yeah, I just, bro, I just seen you right now, innit? And then, so I'm about to go in here as well. I had to let you know, bro. I had to let you know. I see you're wearing the Cortez as well. I hit, I got, I hit the crossbar as well. They did a crossbar challenge. Hit that shit in a YouTube video as well. The shit's a small world, man. So I feel like I just work hard and just stick with it. And then who I see is who I see, but. That's that's what I think people need to do more, bro. In the scene, like people just be hating, bro. Like, bro, like I, I dealt with it since I was 16. Like, yeah, totally get it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, crazy. Like people really be just they watch you though, but they'll still hate. That's what I don't get. True, like, but then at the same time, like you know, they're watching you. you just gotta put it aside, bro. You gotta do what you wanna do. Mm. You gotta do what works for you. 100. Like and. Really and truly, like you can't really give a shit about what people think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? like, I've, I've been like that for ages. Like maybe I went through a period where I cared a bit too much. Yes. Um, I didn't last long. Yeah. To be honest. Came like, on the other side. That's yeah, the important. It didn't shit. last long. Like when when I grew, I grew mentally as well. I was like, listen, there's a place in, in my life where I want to be, so mm. I'm gonna get there. No matter what, what it means. Like, That's the same with me, bro. So you can't let no. YouTube comments. I don't really even read my comments. Yeah, like, yeah. That. like, like the negative shit. Any you ignore? Yeah, like even good comments. Like, mm. you think you're you're it now? Ego, like, like, yeah. Yeah. So for me, like, I don't try and go too too up or too down. Like, I'm always just kind of trying to keep it on one level. Keep it there. Keep going, it. It? Doesn't matter what happens. Like, things in life are gonna, are gonna hit you hard. Like, right. and if you're too emotional on either side, but that's but that's real spill. Yeah, that's man, real so I just try and. Try and keep on, on one level. So like when people say, "Oh, you're wash," or "Ah, oh, you used to be on this level," or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, in it, yeah, word, yeah. Like, like, that's cool. Like, name me a rapper that's hot for ten plus years. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible. You have to stop like, it. Yeah. Unless right. you're, a, a, you know, unless you're really at the cream of your crop, yeah. like you're gonna have moments where you're going up and down. And that's I was actually explaining it to my girl the other day. Like. Lots of people like to say life is short, but actually, life is long, bro. Nah, it's life facts, is it's long. facts, bro. Like, you need to be able to, you know, be happy or be on the level. Like, wow, like, journey. Mm. People are too 
quick like quick to hop on the next thing, uh, quick mentality. You try and rush the process as well. Yeah, and, and also like there's lots of people out here, you know, chasing money or chasing followers or whatever. But once you get there, what are you doing now? Right, and then that's why you see so many people spiral out, and I might even be a case of that. I learned from it, and, and I know who I am as a person. So as long as you know who you are. I'm a bro, I'm a normal person. I see everyone as normal, like bro. I mean, I've met so many celebrities, I just see everyone as like just a normal humanist. When I see someone I'm like, bro, let me just go chat to them, see what it's like. Yeah, Shit, I don't know. I appreciate you, bro. Innit? Yeah. Drop me a message on Instagram. Yeah, I will, I will. I'll see you as well, bro. Appreciate like, it. Come on, Safe, bro. Have a good one, man. Some inspirational speech right now. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, but. <laughs> You know, this guy said he used to watch my videos and uh, he does YouTube now. He's trying to do YouTube content and stuff. So, yeah, we just had a little chat. I appreciated it and I thought I'd give him my two cents. But not going to lie, whenever I'm in Central, I do park like a bit of a dickhead. But that's because there's nowhere to freaking park, man. Keep it on there and park on the next spot and hopefully we don't get that. Anyway, we're heading to one of our favourite restaurants right now. We haven't had this in ages. I'm low-key kind of excited for it. It's freaking booming inside. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited? 11 out of 10. I've been craving it for ages. I'm starving as well right now, actually. Ooh. Look at that. There you go. Tell me what you think. It's different. I feel like I've never had anything like it before. I know, that's why I kind of like it. Anyway, this is like a chicken teriyaki on like a bed of rice and we always used to come here like after supreme drops back then this was like our spot in soho i am so full i best believe i am not letting any of this go to waste we always get like the double portion because then we can take it home and eat it whenever we're watching netflix or whatever in bed later this is gonna slap differently when we're home secured So yeah guys, there you have it. Just finished up editing this one. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did see anything that I was selling in the video that I didn't manage to sell, which to be fair was quite a lot of it, then go and check out my vintage wardrobe. There's loads of good stuff on there. The link is in the description. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you click subscribe as well so you never miss an upload. We're uploading every single Monday right now. I'll see you next week. Peace.